Welcome back to Zachus. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. Today is all about robot vacuums. And of course, this video is about the Shark XL IQ. I know you guys have been doing your research and you came here to see, is it good, is it bad, is it worth it, is it not worth it, what's the real dealio? We're gonna get into all the details, here we go. Now I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that I've tried several robot vacuums, you'll see those videos here on my channel and you'll also see a comparison of this video and the i8, i7 plus from Roomba the iRobot and I'm going to also be upfront with you that I did not like the Shark XL and then I sent it back and I'm going to tell you why but first let's get into the features of the Shark XL and then I will get into the details of my review. The Shark XL is in some opinions is on the higher end and normally runs about $4.99 and it has a docking station with self-cleaning self-emptying technology which means it has a bin that when your, when your robot vacuum comes home and docks to charge, it actually cleans out its bin into the main bin so that at the end of 30, 60 days, whenever it gets full, you can take it and go dump it out into the trash can. Now in the comparison video, you'll see why I don't like the Shark one compared to the iRobot one. But for the sake of this video, it does not have a bag. It just has a window that you can see when it gets full. It has no technology, lights, or and nor does it notify you on the app when it's full. So you do have to take, watch it, and then when it gets full, take it to the trash can, empty it out physically, and make sure it's cleaned out. That's something I just didn't like. The i8 and the i plus have a HEPA bag, so it's nice and clean. I just pop the bag out, it's all sealed. I can throw it away, put a new bag in. That's just one of the things I didn't like. Another thing it doesn't do is it doesn't map very well. It says it has this new map technology, cameras, but my map came out completely wrong and then after calling them and doing research, I had to delete the map and it was supposed to recreate the map. But after three days, I still didn't have a map. So that kind of ticked me off. It also um, has no bag in the base. It's a little louder than some of the other ones, but not by much. It takes about two hours to charge it. It runs for about 70 minutes. In my, in my experience, it ran for about 30 minutes, but it claims it can run 70 minutes. It has one single roller brush that's kind of a mixture of rubber and metal. And uh, it does do straight lines. Like uh, most of the cheaper robots will just go all over the place. But with the iRobot and with the Shark XL, you will see it do straight lines across your room for the most part. Occasionally it, you know, messes up. So I've already kind of given you a hint on some of the things I don't like, but I don't like that it's bagless. Uh, when you empty it out, the dust and allergens go everywhere. Uh, on the iRobot, you know, you're going to see the comparison video. It has a light indicator that is full, has a, a mobile app indicator that is full. It's a bag that you just grab. It seals itself up as you take it out. So that's, that's something I just, don't like it back to Shark XL. The other thing is it didn't clean. It was like defective. Like it would clean half a room and then go back to the charging station. And it would not know to, to once it charged up to go back and finish the room. I had to tell it, hey, go clean that room again. Where the Roomba, it, it knows if it runs out of charge, it charges back up and then it goes back and finishes its job. Um, I didn't find, like I said before, the mapping wasn't great, the guidelines weren't great. There's no way to tell it to stay away from certain zones or certain rooms. Um, it says it has room select, but even when with the map being incorrect, it didn't give me that ability and I've had a lot of other people complain about that. It did come with like this weird thick metal, um, rubbery kind of like tape that you have to put on things, around things for it to say, don't go there. I'm not gonna do that, you're not gonna do that, it's stupid. It was also super heavy, it was like, it would look awful. So um, be sure and watch my i8 plus, i7 plus video and the comparison video, and you'll see why I'm saying all this, but the Shark XL does look really nice. It looks really slick and modern. I think it looks a lot better than the Roomba because it's all black and it just looks really awesome. Um, I don't really have much to say other than the bagless on the docking station except that they do prefer you to be on hardwood floor and I put mine upstairs on carpet, but it did come with the thing to go under it for carpet. And I didn't have a lot of problems with that. 
The major difference in the docking station is the, that I didn't care for is the Shark itself tries to back in to the docking station and it only has two little charging pins. So as it's trying to like align itself, it took a long time to like pull up to it. And like, it's like you trying to back into your driveway, you know, unless you do it every day and you know, you're really good at it. It's kind of not as easy as just pulling straight in with the iRobot. It pulls straight into the docking station. So it's just like zoom, you know, it missed a couple of times, but it was a lot, lot easier to get in. This one would like run over its docking station and like had to realign itself. And I just found it very clunky and kind of weird and um, just not great. I didn't like that it had a single brush. Um, I didn't feel like it cleaned as well. And like I said, even though it did the straight lines, sometimes it would just skip half a room and just for no reason, just go back and dock. And um, anyways, that is kind of it. There's not a lot of features. It, that I can mention like the iRobot has like a laundry list of features. You'll see that video, but this is kind of it. Like it has, a, it has an app. It's kind of new, it's modern looking, but it doesn't have a lot of options. iRobot app is a lot, lot better. It's more intuitive, a lot more options. And um, I did get it on sale at Black Friday for $315. It normally runs for $499. And a lot of people think, oh, for $500, it's a great deal because you get the bin, the docking station, you know, the self-emptying, all that kind of stuff. But is it really worth it if it doesn't work? If it doesn't allow you to say, hey, stay out of that room, stay away from that piece of furniture, stay away from that rug. Um, I just don't think so. So because I got a special Black Friday deal um, on it, I also went to Costco's and found a great Black Friday deal on the i8 Plus and I got it for $550. So really just $50 more than the normal price of the Shark XL at $499. And I just got a way better vacuum. So for me, this is a fail, a huge fail. And I sent it back. I, I don't even want to keep it. Like I have no use for it. Like it's just, you spend that kind of money, you've got to make sure it works. And you should have that trust that it's gonna work well and work good and you're gonna be in complete control of where this thing that's running around your house by itself is going, where it shouldn't go, all that stuff. Um, so I hope this video helps you. Please comment below if I missed anything you had questions about, I will try to answer those. Right below the video is called a description. All the links will be there. You go check those out, you can see the price, you can see more detail, you can see the reviews and I'm here to tell you, this is not something you sh should waste your money on, but if you do give it a try, uh, just just saying you're, you're warned fairly, okay? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Free to do so, cancel at any time. Become part of the Zachis family. We got some great, awesome videos live today, and we got more coming, and you just want to get notified first when those videos go live going to do some more vacuum videos, a lot more smart home. And of course, I've got a ton of things for guys coming. Be sure and be notified first when those videos go live. And I will catch your beautiful faces in the next Zachis video. Peace. Peace.